Hey guys, the World Cup is finally here for creative mode players. There are going to be five trials where people can qualify to make it in to the World Cup where there are, is a prize pool for $3 million for creative mode alone. Crazy. The first time trial is made by Scissors is here, guys. And I'm here to show you how to get through this course today if you just want to get through it. This is a, not a hard course. This is just a course that if you ever want to say, I finished a Scissors death run, this is the one to do it. There are a few different options on each level. There's like a hard version and an easy version. I'll try to show you both. Okay, guys, let's jump into this. Now, guys, if you are doing this to actually try and qualify and be a speed runner for this, uh, it starts right when this hits zero, right? Right when it hits go, you go, right? It just goes from this and you have to collect all 10 coins to qualify. Um, and then it's just the fastest three times make it in to the World Cup. That's how it works. This is a good time to remind you to subscribe and turn on notifications. We do new creative maps, show you how to do them, and show off the awesome maps that are in creative mode every day on the channel. I hope you'll subscribe. Okay, first level's a few traps, guys, so you're gonna bait this one. Now, if you are new to baiting traps, the key here is to just go in a little bit and then turn around, right? So go in, turn around. Same, and now we have doors. Door traps are a little different. It's a little harder to make this little round movement like that, right? I mean, we can try it. Um, I mean, you can do it that way. It's a little faster than doing it another way. All right, that's the way you can do it the quickest. But if you're doing this and you, you, you haven't really perfected the turnaround, you can also just bait it like this. So just get close. And then, you know, just sidestep, sidestep, sidestep. And then m make sure you don't slow down, right? So if you're trying to do it fast, you're going to be doing, a, you're going to be running a little bit more, right? Kind of running and baiting, that kind of thing. So that's how you get through the first level. Okay, second level, guys, there is a gun here. Now, I should warn you, there is only one gun on this level. It will not respawn. If you die on this level, it will not respawn. Now, let me just uh, show you kind of how this works. There are some... Things on the side that you can shoot. I just missed one on the right. Oh, my, my building came up. So you can shoot these, and then when you shoot those, it takes a second off your final time. Now, if you're not gonna be great at shooting, um, just ignore it and just jump to the end. So, right, so you're gonna shoot to the right and left. You know, left there, right there, left there, and then you're just gonna be making these jumps. These are all really easy jumps um, if you're not trying to shoot, right? So. It's all about shooting on that level and uh, my recommendation there is to increase your um, like my now my my sensitivity for up down left right is pretty low I would increase it significantly so you can make those quick turns boom boom and then practice your aim okay on this level guys we're gonna hit that now just a little tip here when you're hitting these you can jump up and land on it but if you're wanting to do this a little bit quicker you hit the jump bar right as you i say i did it wrong there you hit the jump bar right as you hit the pad so if i hit it like that it goes way faster right so that's a little speed tip if you're new to speed running and you don't know much about jump pads that's what you want to do there hit the jump bar and then bounce up so now there are, you'll see there are some traps at the top so what you're gonna do is bounce up and then just kind of float around like that once again you're gonna hit this go up and then just float around, right? And that, that's a way to do that quickly. Okay, guys, this part of the level is a little bit tricky. If uh, if you're good with impulses, you can impulse up the wall and make it up to this end part of the level. If, you, if you're not good at impulses, then you can jump on these things. There is a little trick to this I'll show you in just a second. If you wanna kinda of do a hybrid, you can impulse out to this one or that one if you're really good at impulsing. Um, but right here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a run and then jump as far out as we can. Now this next one, we're gonna have to land as much on the left edge as possible to make it to this next one. Otherwise you won't have enough distance to make it. Now this one um, will just pop up and we're done there. So now just be sure you're holding W down that whole time. And then off of that third one, make sure you're landing a little bit more on the left side of the bouncer there. Okay, on this level guys, there are two options. There's like a harder option that's faster and an easier option that takes longer. So this one, we're going to impulse up and jump up through this. And then we'll just kind of like slide down and then make this jump, right? So that's a, the fastest way to get to the end of this level. Um, now let me show you the slow way. Okay, guys, slow way, you don't even need this impulse. You can just go down and you just have to make it through this door. 
and then we're gonna go in through here we're gonna let the ice fall off and then we're gonna make this jump now if you can do this with the ice on you know great job but I can't make it with the ice on so I gotta let it come off and then we're gonna make this jump like that and then jump here and then there is a trap right here on the right just run out like this to the edge you'll be okay and then with this impulse, what you don't want to do is throw it right in the middle, run over, and then jump at about this position. Because you might, because you don't want to like overshoot this. If you overshoot it, you'll run into that wall and die to the traps. So let's see if I can do this like this. There we go. That was perfect. And then we're going to run down this way. So this is back to that track from, the, from before the harder track. It's really just that one impulse. It's not an easy jump that I did before. Um, Speedrunners can do it no problem usually, um, but... Uh, that's just a way to cut back on time for people that have a little bit of a higher skill gap. This level is pretty straightforward. You just take your time on these pipes if you're struggling to like make it along. They're not like slippery or anything. I think this will be a really fun level to watch speedrunners do. Like I can't wait to watch someone just W key the whole thing. Like I, that, that's gonna be so cool. Um, this one just line it up, you just go straight, right? Now this is the hard part of this level is this jump. Uh, what you wanna wanna do is about halfway through this pipe, uh, is where you're going to start running and then jump at the end of this and hopefully you're lined up with the door let me see if i can make it there we go so that was the key i had a, just enough speed to make that and i jumped right at the end that's the key to that level it's not an easy jump but you can do it all right guys this is the target practice level and there's eight targets here and then there's eight targets targets down low so you're, this is just going to be all about your sensitivity settings like how quickly can you do this? Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. This is just a way to shave off time. So whenever you blow up one of these boxes, it shaves off a second off of your time. So I think speedrunners will want to do this if they can do it quickly, right? But, uh, like, for me, it takes longer to shoot it than to, like, than to just run through it, right? I, could, I, I would save more time by just running through it. Now, this part of the level is pretty straightforward. Just make sure you jump on the edge of that to make it over here and then throw down the impulse, jump, right? So you just gotta jump before it explodes, throw it down, jump, right? So that's the key to these, is just throwing it and then jumping the right time. Now there's a trap over here, so be careful as you're falling to make sure you can either bait it and then run back or just to make sure you avoid it. This level's really cool, guys. I've never really seen this design before in a uh, death run. But uh, I, I love it. I think it's really cool. Now, you're going to want to start on the right side because you're going to kind of zigzag your way up with your impulse grenades. You're going to go this way, the right, and then left. If you start on the left, you'll start zigzagging this way, and then you'll run into a wall. So this is that's kind of the direction we're going to go here. Now, the key with this level, guys, is to throw your impulses down before you stop sliding forward um, uh, as you go up, right? And then pointing in the right direction. Let's see if I can do it. So we're going to throw it down and start running forward. Slide up. Be pointing in the direction you want to go. Slide up. We're pointing and making sure we're going the right direction. And then we're just going to keep going up. I really like this level, guys. I think it's really cool. Really well designed. Um, and then we're going to actually need to throw an impulse grenade right there to make it over to the final coin. So that's really the key to that final level. Throw it down, slide up, and continue doing that. All right, guys. Good luck, and I hope you win $3 million. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Okay, have a good one. Hopefully this helped.